Well, this is it. Last 20, 30 metres of the 30 day challenge. Just about done. And I apologise about the wind, but conditions we have to work in today. And I thought I'd get it. There it is, 30 k's down. <coughs> Don't know whether you'll be able to see that, but a uh, bit of a token expression there. Uh, but there you go, the 30 day challenge done and roller coaster ride today. Um, strong yesterday. I think some days, as I said before, some days are rocks, some days are diamonds. And I think probably a good time now to actually really explain why I did the 30 day challenge. And I'll probably say there's three words. There's privilege, there's suffering, and then there's choices. And the privilege part of it comes from me living a privileged life. I've never had to deal with any real hardships. Yeah, I've had tough times in my life, but when I put it in relative terms to some of the hardships that other people have had, I have been truly blessed and I continue to be truly blessed. And I've got an absolutely amazing wife who shits me sometimes. But that's not suffering. That's not hardship. That's me learning how to be a better husband and a better person and a better partner. And I've got two kids that I absolutely adore who drive me insane sometimes. That's not hardship or suffering. That's me learning how to be a better dad. And that's why, where I suppose it, it, it moves into that suffering side of things. Sometimes we think we suffer. We don't. There are other people out there who are suffering a hell of a lot worse than us, yet we get in this pity pool and we want to feel sorry for ourselves and play the victim. And then the third part is those choices. So we all have choices. We make choices to react to situations. And there's, there's so much psychology about, out there about why we can't make the right choices and that sort of stuff. But that, to me, that's bullshit. Make the choice to make the right decision. And, and you've always got that option. So I have lived a privileged life. I have to create some suffering for myself to actually develop grit and resilience. And so that's the reason for this challenge was that because I have this privileged life, I need to make some suffering for me. And I have regular challenges that I do. And they might be tiny little things through to something like this, which at times was pretty tough. But once again, I put it into perspective. That was easy. If you told me to run 31 k's tomorrow, I would, because I know I would be able to do it. There are people in the world who will go to sleep tonight and not know whether they'll be able to eat food tomorrow. What the hell am I thinking about suffering? Who the hell am I to think that I'm suffering um, when I run 30 k's? So I have created these challenges for myself so that I actually do create some level of suffering so that I can develop some level of resilience to back up day in, day out so that I can develop some level of grit to keep going when it gets sore, when my knee gets sore or my foot gets sore. And I always have a choice. I had a choice. I had a choice many a time to stop, but I chose not to stop. I chose to keep going because I wanted to do it. And so in a pretty big waffle straight after 30 kilometers, um, that's the reason why I did this 30 day challenge. And I'm glad I did and I'll be, I'll be looking forward to the next challenge that I do. So I don't know, sit back today and think to yourself, what do those three words mean to you? What is, are you privileged? Are you privileged in the life you live? Do you create some suffering for yourself so you can build resilience and build grit and determination? And always remember, you've got a choice. You've got a choice to sit in your pool of pity or you've got a choice to pull yourself up and actually go and do something. Um, so think about those three words today and I hope you have a cracking day anyway. Um, and I'll keep you updated. I might actually post some of the stats from the 30 day challenge um, and I'll come up with something new in the short, the, the near future. See you later.